From the barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with you. Uh, you know, this is another part video, man. We're gonna do this one a little bit different, man, just because I ain't have the time to uh, do the cuts and all that. Y'all already see who it is, me, Rod Van Dam, the whole fucking show. And they got me out here going against a 99 point guard, man. And um, it's funny because I, I, I think I'm one of the top tier small fours in this game, and they love, love, love to put me against guards to try to expose. I mean, and then every time a guard is on me, they try to expose the fact that, you know, they got a guard or whatever. So, you know, it is what it is, man. I, I don't I don't worry about it too much. But it's just like, I, I just hate the fact that they allow you to, to do too much sometimes. When you look at that one, uh, this GP, fourth rate, no good. When when they allow the other person to, uh, like, you stop them on the first try. You stop them on the second try. Stop them on the third try. Give me that damn rebound. You stop them on the fourth try. And then they just keep making moves and moves and moves. Until 2K finally lets them get to the fucking hole and just hit uh, X and they get an easy layup, man. It just gets on my nerves, man. It just, it bothers me to no end. But you know it is what it is, man. That's how it is with the part. You know, you're going you to get what you pay for. And uh, you get what you get your own piece of fit, man. But anyway, let me get right to the topic at hand, man. What I was thinking about earlier was uh, I've seen a lot of people that's uh, they're sick on Twitter, on uh, Facebook, on uh, pretty much every social media medium that there is, man, and the real thing, and, and you all know what it's about. It's about your boy Steph Curry and his uh, Warriors not being able to pull that win out last night. A lot of people try to figure out what it means, what it, what, what's this, what's that. I, you know what? I, I think what, what, what kind of damn shot was that? And then that's the bullshit. See, that's the shit that I can't stand in this game. 2K rewards that shit right there. But if he would have passed it to me wide open in that corner, I'd have bricked the fuck out of this shot. And it would have probably been green. But you know it is what it is. Um, you know, your boy Steph, man, uh, he just had a bad night. You know, I'm, I'm looking at that. Now the, now the defense has something to do with him having a bad night. But uh, I, look at, I look at that and like, you know he had a bad night. The only problem with that whole thing is their team is constructed as such where if he has a bad game, you know, they're probably going to lose the game. You know, if he has a bad night, if they can't shoot jumpers like they, that's that's what they do is shoot jumpers. They beat you from the perimeter. And like Charles Barkley said, when um, when Joe Johnson, uh, Paul Pearson, and uh, Antoine Walker were on the same team, you know, shooting jump shots, he was like, look at me lock this man up. He passed it right down low for another easy-ass dunk. But uh, he said uh, famously back then that jumpers just don't fall in the playoffs, man. What I've always said is that people don't game plan for for three. No good. Uh, people uh, people don't game plan for you night to night, night in and night out. They don't game plan for you night to night because the grind of an 82-game NBA season, they're just not going to do that. But uh, in the playoffs, people actually game plan for you. People actually try to see it. And I actually get the ball. They actually pass the ball. Jays, it goes up. Dunk City. Right. But uh, people, when you, people don't game plan for you night to night. But when you get to the playoffs, that's when they start game planning for you. And when they start game planning for you, they actually – it's like almost like football every Sunday. There's actually a game plan. So instead of just um, instead of just watching them and you know just trying to do the best we can, we're gonna execute this plan. We're not gonna let this player beat us. And that's pretty much what Steph's going through right now. Yeah, he hits shots. Yeah, he can do whatever he wants to. He's still getting. The thing is, the shots that he was that he was missing are the same shots that he takes any time any other time. He just happened to miss those shots. And, um, you know, but but the thing that I saw that was the big difference is they made him play defense last night. They made him, um, you did, they did what they're supposed to do. When you play the pick and roll, you, you set the pick on the worst defender on the floor. And uh, look at me with that leak out. Dunk city, bitch. Dunk, dunk city, bitch. You set the pick on the worst defender on the floor, which was him, and you make him make a decision. And I, I don't have no problem at all with that. I thought they did an excellent job with that. I mean, if he if he stepped over the top, if he, if he followed the pick, then uh, Westbrook was gonna take it, take the ball to the bucket, and then if he if he um, if he switched, then Robinson was just gonna switch off and roll to the hole, man. So you know it is what it is. Like he was in a losing situation there. Uh, the only thing he really could have done, I really don't know what he could have done because they were running this shit to perfection. But the fact that he's far three, no good. The fact, oh look at me in down down low with the rebound, rack. This is, this is my small forward, man. This is an outside small forward that I'm able to do this stuff with. But the reason I can is because I understand what's going on. The other thing that I feel like is happening, though, with the Warriors is that um, Draymond Green, though he is effective or he, you know, he's being effective or what have you, the problem is that what he gives you 
that it, it, it's what, what he normally gives you. It's not an advantage against this team, against the uh, OKC. And, and the reason it's not an advantage is because what he normally is able to do is the other team's back court, the other team's front court normally can't score because they're not that many very good centers in the league. So uh, look, at he finally passed it to me. Step in. Well, you know, I'm passing back out. But anyway, uh, there are not that many. Fourth Ray, no good. Uh, there are not that many good centers in the league, or there are not that many good front courts in the league that are going to consistently beat you from six to eight feet from the basket. So what they what they do is, look at another rebound by the East Main, baby. But uh, what they normally, so this is what they do. Uh, kick it out. Dimer, no good. Oh, my God, these dudes is bricking. But, uh, you know, GP my homeboy, though, so, you know, he, he, I don't know what's going on with him. I think he has to change the control of batteries or something. But uh, what, the things that Draymond Green gives you, which is speed on the perimeter, uh, good rebounding, uh, position with de uh, defensive-based position and stuff like that, that don't really help you, help you against one of the best front courts in the league. And I, I actually thought about it. I'm like, yo, these guys might really be the best. And when he went by me right there, that's when I just got pissed off and said, you know what, you motherfucker? I got this shit. Give me the fucking ball. But anyway, um, he, uh, you know, uh, that, that might be the best front court in the league, man, with, uh, with Rack. Now, I'm telling you, man, I'm slow as a motherfucker, but I get where I'm going. Uh, with, with Kevin Durant, uh, you got Ibaka Steven Adams, and you got, uh, Enos Kenta, man. I mean, that's, that's a pretty strong front court, man. I mean, the rent by itself makes it makes it top five in the league, but you know, uh, with everybody else, uh, you know those guys that can play on the perimeter as well as uh, shoot jumpers, man. I mean, I mean they can play on the perimeter, they can play good to perimeter defense, and they can score six to eight feet from the basket. But they also uh, everybody except Steven Adams has has uh, Enos Kenner has an 18 footer, serves can shoot threes, and uh, you know they just really nullify what what the advantage is that Draymond gives you because they can play defense on the perimeter. And, and they, they can get buckets down low, which is the weakness that um that, that you incur. Get that, oh, damn, I thought I got that block, which is the weakness that you get from playing with Draymond. And then, but uh, but they can score on the perimeter too. So, and they can get buckets. Like, the, the, the biggest thing is they can actually score. So, if you got scoring big men, Golden State is always going to be in a lot of trouble against scoring big men. If you just look look at uh, history, I mean, they, they may not. The scoring big man may not. Oh, here we go. Jay-Z fans back for three. Yes! And it counts. They may not always um, win, you know, beat, get lose to uh, bigger teams that are bigger. But I'm just saying that the fact that Draymond, the fact that Draymond doesn't really give you anything. If Steph is not scoring a bunch of buckets, he's not giving you anything. He damn sure ain't giving you no defense. And, um, you know, I mean, that's just how it is. Trey's up. Splash down. That's just how it is, man. That's where they are right now. So you got two players that are essentially really giving you nothing, um, you know, unless they're scoring. And then you got uh, Clay Thompson, who it, I, I think it's just hard for him to get in the rhythm because because of what he has to do with Steph. Jay-Z fans back, 4-3, 1-2-3, green three, light. What he got to go through with Steph? You don't know if Steph going to shoot the ball or or do what, man. It's almost like a ball stop. It's a real tough. I mean, it's just it's just matchups, man. Basketball is a game of matchups. I ain't throwing dirt on them yet. They can. If anybody in this league can win three games in a row and come back from 3-1, to one, it would be the Golden State Warriors. I just don't see it happening, man. And for those reasons that I just cited, I just don't see it happening. But I got to get out of here, man. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Channel. Holla! 360 out this motherfucker. That was so fucking epic.